This is Randy Thompson coming to you live with Trudy Adams and Miss Annie. We're working on, on keeping her connected with her canters in the warm-up. That's it. Supple the outside rein and leg. Good. And then put her on the inside rein and leg. Supple her on the outside rein and leg so she keeps her shoulder up. And then supple her so she doesn't fall in with your inside rein and leg. Supple her on the outside. Shift her back more with your outside rein. Supple her more. Soften her jaw. Soften her jaw. Pull. That's it. Shorten the length of your reins. It's the first time we've asked Annie to stay connected in the warm-up canter. That's it. Keep her shoulder up. Now just feel, if she drops her shoulder, your outside rein and leg aren't keeping her connected. Shorten your reins. Good. That's all right. That's all right. This is new to both of you. It's okay. It was a good down transition. I didn't really want her to get a shot, but it was a good... Good. That's it, and then try it one more time on the right, and then we'll go to practicing some tests. That was good, I like how you're keeping her, that's it, you're starting to feel when her shoulder's up, which is when her back is up. Good, connect her to one side or the other, this is where she'll try to get you to disconnect, it's all right. It's a big challenge to a horse when you first start connecting them, and by connection I mean, Trudy has taken up an even feel on both sides of the rein, and she's keeping Annie connected from her leg and seat. And to do this, she's using the steps to connection where she checks that Annie is soft on the jaw, in the pole, her neck, and picking up her back. Pick up the back by suppling your outside rein and leg. There, feel the difference? Praise her. Good, good. Supple her. So every time you feel her dropping, it's because your outside rein is not telling her where to be with her balance. Good. And this is a huge, huge achievement to be able to canter somewhat, even somewhat connected in the warm-up kit. Too fast, too fast. That's when she's dropping her shoulder. You need to supple her with your outside rein and leg. She's doing it every other stride. So think half, it's all right. So that's where you're going to start adding half halt, half halt, every other stride. Good, good. Do you want to do one more to the left? All right. Take a walk break. Well, we don't want you to run out of energy because we're going to practice the test now and we're not going to film that part so I can follow along. That was great. What did, we've never asked her to stay connected in the warm-up canter. Now, and as she goes on, she gets more willing. But in the very beginning, that's where I have a hard time. Well, she's never done it before, right? Well, she has. No, not really. Never in the warm-up. I haven't while well, I'm practicing myself. Right. I asked her to, but today she was just definitely trying to push some buttons. Yeah, but you got it together. When you see it on video, you'll say, oh, that looks so much better than what it feels like. <laughs> Good girl, Miss Annie.